that. We'll do that. <laughs> How to also premise my next question on, on your own uh, 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 ever proverb that you used in one of your session addresses in Parliament in, in your first term. You said, Nuvevela Vevezeme O Danele. Right. I hope you remember that. Problem. I do remember <laughs> very, very well. <laughs> important things are, are, are cooked in important pots. Exactly. Yes, I remember that. I'm vivid. I thought it was a very expressive ex expression. <laughs> I'm I have a beautiful language. Point. My biggest mm. re regret in my life is that uh, I've not been able to speak it, really. It's a beautiful sounding language ever. And uh, I always. Uh, I nearly did because in the early period before I, I originally got married, I had a very close association <laughs> <laughs> with somebody from the area. Yeah. Uh, but it's not too late, Mr. President. Oh, really? Yes, you, you are it's very good with languages. I don't think it's too Oh, oh it's not the close association. <laughs> I mean, uh, the language. I always say it's not too late with the close association. Rebecca Kufu is, is listening to me. <laughs> no, with the languages. With the languages. With the language. <laughs> Mr. President, you are a polyglot, in my opinion. <laughs> Thank you. Will the vote? Okay, sir. So, uh, Mr. President, moving on, um, COVID has come with its challenges. Um, it's not peculiar to Ghana alone, it's the world over. But we are hearing the former president it's, um, um, uh, saying that. It may the difficulties that Ghanaians are having may not just be the ripple effect of COVID, but not um, your government as a leader being able to properly manage the economy. What uh, what do you have to say to that, Mr. President? <laughs> I, I don't know. I wonder whether the statement was made tongue in cheek <laughs> by, by the former president. I'm astonished that when you look at the, the records that this this political leader can accuse my government of mismanagement. I mean, there are a few facts that when you put on the table to compare his performance in office and mine, will tell you that uh, if, what I'm, if what I'm offering people is uh, economic mismanagement, I wonder what words should we describe his stewardship of Ghana? <laughs> yeah, you know, an unmitigated disaster. I mean, I mean, that's how I would call it. Uh, and there's some few facts. When we left office in... in uh, 2016, the, the rate of growth of our national economy was 3.4 percent, the lowest in 24 years at the time, the lowest. The very next year, the economy rebounded to uh, 7 percent, I think it was 8 point something percent the very first year. And from then until the COVID, we averaged 7 percent rate of GDP growth. Inflation, when he left office, was at 15.4%. Today, at the end of July, which are the last hard facts from the statistical service, is 9%. We, interest rates, always a good determinant of how the economy is operating, 32% in 20, December 2016. Today is at 20.6%. You're talking about Treasury bill decline in interest rates. You're talking about the trade deficit that was what 1.8 billion United States dollars in 2016 to a trade surplus of 2.6 billion at the end of 2019. I mean the facts you can you can multiply and multiply the, the facts and the comparison. So if these statistics, which pointed to an economy that was working and was considered at the time, I think we were all here, as one of the fastest growing economies in the world, not just in Africa, but in the world, at an average 7% GDP growth rate, can be considered economic mismanagement. Then the, the economic policies of the government that took us into the embrace of the IMF, and even after the embrace of the IMF, left our economy in the disarray that it did in 2016. And I have no doubt that that disarray contributed significantly to the decision of the Ghanaian people to, 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 to entrust the government to us in the MPP and, and into my hands. I don't know, but I will leave it to the, <laughs> I'll leave it to the people of Ghana to decide. Uh, uh, it's, 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 if I may just add, it's like also the, the, the comment that, that I've heard from him that um, the challenges in the country are such that we should have 
some sort of a national, uh, what is it, Kulag or economic forum. If the National Economic Forum is going to be a repetition of the so-called Sinchi consensus, then I think I have to spare the people of Ghana <laughs> <laughs> this sort of development. The Sinchi consensus was an unmitigated disaster. Out of it, we went into the embrace of the IMF with all the difficulties that came from, from that and the disarray that it, it pointed to in the economy of our country. At the end of the day, the IMF program that the Muhammad government took us into, they could not exit it. We had to come and complete the work of exiting it. It had been our hope that by the time we came, the program would be over so that we would be able to develop our own program. In fact, we took a year and a bit to bring the program, I think in almost two years. Yes, in 2019, before we could bring the program to a conclusion. And even with the IMF program, these are the, the statistics that the Muhammad government led the people of Ghana. Yeah. For me, I would think that uh, comments from the former president on the economy, he, he should be a little bit wary, careful. Uh, he's not on strong ground <laughs> when he's talking about the economy. His track record. I, mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm reluctant to use these strong words, but um, in normal parlance, I would say it was abysmal, <laughs> and, and therefore um, he, he has no lessons to give me at all about the management of the economy. Mr. President, um, I am assuming that your marriage or your 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 your, your, your chasing or your wooing of the voter region. I want to assume that by now you've, you, you've bypassed the knocking stage. Well, if Hoho is an indication, then yes. <laughs> we will say that we'll take no Hoho to be the knocking stage. So you've bypassed the knocking we'll stage. So my eyes will be on you to see whether you eventually bring the ring for the engagement to take place. Well, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> I want to 